Hey everybody, it's Jeremy. Welcome back to Wild Arms 2. This is like, I don't know, episode 22 or something like that. Um, we're gonna go fight Judaka now. I don't like not being able to run. <laughs> yay, yay. Here we go. All right, Judeka has always been kind of a pushover. Um, he's he's potentially dangerous like the first time you fight him or when you fight him with... Um, is that the first time you fight him with Temp? Uh, this time, he's kind of whatever. He still paralyzes, which is kind of annoying. But overall, I think he's kind of meh. Miriam is the big threat here. Makes me so happy. I'm so excited my glasses are about to fall off again. Ugh. I've got you now. Your schemes and your traps won't work with us anymore. Let's settle it. Fair and square. Fair and square. Glad you brought that up. Make this little game more fun. All I did was give you guys a small handicap. I did it to prolong your agony and to watch you get caught in a trap. What? What? If I had a hand in your demise, we would have settled this long ago. You don't seem to understand. There's no point to it. Excuse me? Can't forgive you for having no compassion for others' pains. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Let's just finish Judeka, because he sucks. Working under Vinsfeld did guarantee one would never be bored. Even if I didn't do anything, Vinsfeld would get me a place to play. I legitimately like, like, I see a lot of Percy in Judeka. Honestly. Um, okay, we are going to do the normal shtick. We're gonna just smack the shit out of him until we get access and go that route. Um, he's busy. Mm. We put the uh, anti-paralysis on Tim. Make sure we can actually heal each time. Counterattack. Counter! Alright, Douglas, of course. It, watch him paralyze me. Wait, is Douglas not the paralysis, I think? Or is that Sidewinder? Blue anklet, there we go. Uh, attack, first aid, attack. Very easy peasy. Uh, Miriam is the strongest thing that uh, Judeka has, but it only does like 1,500. If he gets a counterattack on you and he gets a Miriam, um, it can be a lot of damage. But otherwise, it's typically fine. If he focuses on someone multiple times, like Tim or Cannon, then it's a problem. But Ashley actually has so much HP at this point, so it, it kind of doesn't matter for him. Sidewinder. It's everyone for meh, whatever. We just heal that all the way back. And we've got Phalanx. So, Phalanx online, Access online. Should be pretty quick. The only status effect that uh, Judeka has is the Paralyze. I'm pretty sure it's out of Douglas, but... Looks like we did get hit the first time, and now we have... He keeps shooting Tim with it, so it doesn't matter. So, there's that. Odie boy, do you want a treat? 
says, Papa, Papa, I want treat, Papa. He says, I want treat, Papa. You want treat? Get up here. Come on. Come here. Come on. You gotta come up here to get your treat. Yeah. Okay. All right, here you go. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I got a treat. I got a treat. I am an Odi and I love my papa. He says, I want another. You don't understand. A treat is a thing you get like one of. You don't just eat all the treats, Odie boy. Mm -hmm. You don't just eat all the treats, Odie boy. You don't eat all of them. You only get like one at a time, my boy -o. All right, we're gonna hot fence her. The hand's coming back, don't worry. Don't worry. The hand's coming back. I gotta keep him, like, consistent attention. Or else he'll be like, okay, well, I'm done. Bye. Damn. Almost 2k damage on that, uh, on that hot fencer. Bloody Brody. He's a kitty cat. All right. Gotta take another turn, Odie. It says, Papa, Father, do not stop. Do not stop the petting, Father. So I'm thinking with, uh, I'm gonna try to get some emotes done soon. And I'm thinking the ones that I really wanna get done is I wanna get a specific emote done for Odie. Um, like just an OD emote, gener gen generic general OD emote. And I want to do a, a Lippo emote. Um, and then I want to do, I, I really want to do Deer Lord because that's kind of like a thing with me and Casey. And I really, I like it. I think it's really cute and funny. Um, so we'll see about that. But uh, yeah. Yeah. I think I'm going to do some of those soon-ish. I also want to do more wine as an emote. Um, just like a little, uh, you know, Jeremy Irons wine glass. More wine! You know, like speech bubble type thing. Did Odie decide he li No, he did not decide he likes his cat tree. In fact, if I stop petting him for too long, he is probably going to leave. I put him up here and gave him a treat. That is the new technique. Every night I stream, I'm going to give him a treat and put him up here and love on him until he re-accepts that this is his spot. Co <laughs> it's not coercion. It's manipulation. Get it right. Get it right. Yes, sir. Aww. He says, I love love. Mm. I love the attention. Yes, I do. Yes, I love the attention, Papa. I've been had? What do you mean? Judeka's crazy. He is unstable. Babuyo. You know you're laying in, like, the worst position for me? Like, you make it very difficult for me to pet you like this. You need to, like, lay this direction. Lay facing the camera, and then I can just go like this. But no! He's gotta lay lengthwise. <laughs> what does that mean? You were defeated because you didn't leave the arena of play. Excuse me? One who doesn't risk his life isn't qualified to play with lives. What? Thought that you'd lose your life if you hesitate in battle. I wouldn't want to become someone who didn't hesitate to take a life.
He offs himself. Just, just throwing that out there, everybody. He shoots himself in the head and then falls off the side of the pillar. That's how Judeca goes out. Damn. And there was enough warning time? Be this known, there was enough warning time. They did it off screen, of course they did. But there was enough warning time that Lilka and Tim turned around so they would not see it. Whereas Brad, Ashley, and Cannon did not. They just watched. <laughs> oh. My goodness. Woody boy. You are making it so difficult. You want me to pet you, and then you are like laying in the worst way. He says, Father, I do not care. Do what you must do. Give me the love. No, you get no more. I'm done with you. Oh, the tap taps. Oh, they hurt. They're painful. The painful taps. Go back to the town of Maria. It's no pop. Father, can you hear me? Give me another treat. No. You've done nothing to earn a said treat, my boy. My boy. Oh, I get there. Oh, I get there. He's just swimming. He's just swimming. There you go. That's the good way to lay. Yeah, there you go. Good boy. Good boy. All right, more magic defense. Need another level on everyone, basically. We need to refill our ammo. Potentially um, do some upgrade work. Arm upgrade. like we kind of go for again right we almost always want uh our aoe's to be more focused on the guaranteed uh, guaranteeing a hit you know my god the damage We're just going to hold out, honestly. Uh, we're going to go get uh, a high revive on that crest cap that we used. Oh, I like it when you hang out with me again. Ugh. Ugh. I got hair all in my face. Hair all in your face. Odi Bodhi. Look at that paw. There's no papa. Don't look at that paw. Okay, we have completed the Diablo pillar for Judeca. Now it's a mad dash to Ptolemy's Diablo pillar.
Okay, so going out here. Yeah, this is where we go. Here we go. Into the ocean. Yay! Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. I didn't. I did not realize you could not leave once you got here. A oh, good to know. The dam. Odi. Look at this guy. The Carabia. says no papa no give me treats give me more treats papa you're such a soft kid you're such a soft boy Um, okay, well, Accelerator, Multi-Blast, the Forsagos. See how that goes? Don't know if this will actually kill them or not, but... Fingers crossed, Odie Bodie. Do not touch me, Papa. Unless it is to pet me. Yeah, got him. Got him, Odie. His headbutts. Ah, the headbutts, Papa. I still. Oh no! He did the Nova. Oh, that's a very baby Nova. Critical heal. What? What? You're not supposed to heal. me. Actually, we will accelerator and attack. And there we go. Hopefully that'll do it in. They didn't seem to have that much health, so. Oh, they have enough. Oh, no. Of course. Of course. <laughs> uh, of course, of course, Odi Horse. Odi Badodi.
Wait, what? Maybe we bomb them as they come towards us? I feel like I'm brute forcing this without. Yeah, Odie left. The Odie doesn't love me anymore. Those two pet pets. Stop. Okay. Bye bye, Odie. Um, what is happening with this stuff? There is a. I'm definitely missing something here. We can't use Puka here. The only thing we haven't tried is kicking this shit, so... I think it's bombs? I tried that a second ago, but... It is definitely bombs. It is definitely bombs, but it's... A pain in the ass, apparently? Like, you gotta do a bunch of bombs? Okay. Gotcha. It be bombs. Like, that's a lot of bombs required, game. Oof. Uh... Channel that inner bomber man. Uh. All right, then. That was ow. Definitely didn't enjoy that puzzle as much as I did the previous one. Or the one before that. Or the one before that. Oof. Oy. Still, I mean, even if he just electroshocks repeatedly, um, we should heal. 
enough to not die. The blast does almost nothing, so I'm not super worried about that. In fact, we would prefer that to the heal. Because the heal will elongate things that we don't really want. Okay, already back to a respectable HP level. Sweet. Man, playing some playing some Bomberman would be pretty cool. I want how okay. You'd have quite a people quite a few people. Is Bomberman on our list, Jay? Any of the Bombermans? We are surprised. We're surprised. Eesh. Yay! Thank, thank you for magic up. No, it's not. Hmm. Interesting. It might need to be. Land lamprey. Wow. We should totally fix that. Yeah, absolutely. She's not going to make it to... Um day lengths in this battle, so might as well just use a lower level thing to speed it up. Nice. She can deal some real damage with her gats. Honestly. Problem is, is, is you know... At, like, Ashley can deal some real damage by accessing and then never having to spend FP. All Super Bomberman titles other than the second have co-op, according to the internet. Nice. Uh, are there any Are there any that would work good in like a three or four player situation? I know there's like one that's like really fun to play four player versus. What's true? Oh, that the statement of all Super Bomberman titles other than the second have co-op. Cool. I think they're all four player and the later ones have five player. That's cool. All right, we've got, hold up everyone. We've got a new OD cam. There we go, new OD cam, right there. You cheat the system, OD, I'll cheat the system. Boy. Baboy. Ode Baboy. Got those big doe eyes. Like, Papa? Papa, are you speaking? Are you moving? I'm not talking. To I'm, I'm, I am talking to you, but. What? Come up here. Come on. Come up here and you get attention. That's the, that's the deal. You gotta come up here. It's dim to breaks. Come up here. I'm not picking you up either. I'm not I'm not about that life. 
You're gonna have to start like... He's just looking at me. He's just like, pa pa pa, pa 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 pa. I love you, papa. Pet me, papa. Nope. Oh, ho, ho. really? We're right there. Ugh, game. Oh, okay, okay. Accelerator into a multi blast on the Persagos. Um, and then do an arrow shot and attack here. Oh. No. That's not, it's not here. Up here. Up here. Come on. Come on. You're starting to scare me because you, you give me that face like you want to jump up here. And I, again, as always, I'm okay with you being in my lap. But you need to, like, tell me and not use your claws. What's up? What's up, buttercup? Your incessant cat. What? Not in the right... Place. Ooh, that was worth quite a bit. Like that. Okay, we're getting pretty close to... I think, actually, this should be it. This should be the mid-boss. And the mid-boss is going to mean we will need... Yeah, we'll stick with cannon, because I don't think that really matters too terribly much. Boss is a little bit of a. Do we need any particular gear? No, I don't think we need a particular gear. So this is a potentially very painful fight. In fact, we are going to save state. A summons trap of confinement you in this situation. Would he get out right away? Because he had people behind him to protect, would he? <laughs> On the list. Nice. Because he trusted those following him. Able to get out right away. Take a lesson from him. Let's go! All right, so this fight is kind of somewhat notorious. Um, it's this kind of like big surprise. Again, if if you don't have the proper skills, and even if you do have the proper skills, the explosive emperor monster, Belleclair, can fuck you up. Um, so. Uh, we want to start off by... Um, putting shield on Tem. Tem is going to first aid to get everyone's health up. Um, and the thing is, is Belleclair has a has a bunch of high damaging attacks. Um, there's a reason why we're doing um, double heal here. But uh, the big issue is, is those high dam one of those high damaging attacks can do about 2,500 damage. So what we want to try to do with Lilka is kind of help cheese away some of that um, issue by giving ourselves a little bit more physical resistance on some things. So. Do that. First aid. Keep attacking. Oh, oh, oh. I need to stop attacking. Why? Well, I, I guess it doesn't matter. We're gonna... Uh, a lot of people will just... 
a lot of people who know what they're doing will just uh, kill Belleclair rather than killing the parts of Belleclair. But we're gonna we're gonna go all out, so we'll see how it goes. Um, we also really need to get Lilka to the point. There we go. That's good. Uh, we need to get Lilka to the point to where we can high heal. Um, so we are going to attack the drill. Tam continues to do his thing. Yeah. I mean, there's almost no reason to... No. No reason to do that. We just, uh, first aid and cannon. Okay. So once we have access to high heal, then, then we can heal whoever gets hit by his big attack, and we're, we're significantly less worried about things. Um... This is going really well. He's not hes not using his shit. That's really, really good for us, honestly. We have a high heal now, so we don't really care. So we are going to, again, do some more shield on Tim. Um, Tim, first aid, cannon. Now can do phalanx and just spam out phalanx. Again... This is slower than if we were using Ashley or even Brad at this point, but we're trying to get Eagle Claw. Again, Eagle Claw is really good. It's not like the end-all be-all or anything, but the, but we're kind of doing completion, so it's cool. It's fun. Um, so we might as well try to give it, give it our all, so to speak. Um, okay, so this is where we're going to be safer. We're going to high heal Loka. We are going to first aid everyone, and then Cannon will keep doing Phalanx. Um, the reason we're high healing Lilka is because as long as Lilka is alive, then we can um, high revive people. Well, I mean, we can high revive anyways because we have the Crest Caps, but we can high revive without using Crest Cap. We're very lucky right now. He's not using, he's not using his big moves, just kind of crazy. Um, another shield on Lilka. Another first aid, phalanx drill. I think the drill is actually where he, he gets the the move too. So I'm not sure he has it for much longer. I don't remember what it's called though. Drill might be gone. Looks like drill stopped. Yeah, Drill has stopped spinning, so I think the Drill is done. A Resonance Quake. But you can see, like, even even just the Resonance Quake, dealing that much damage repeatedly is kind of a big deal. I'm going to Mystic a Heal Berry. And First Aid. And then Cannon is going to keep going on the chest. Megaton attack. Is that the big one? That's the big one. So that that was the big one. And it insta-killed Cannon. It insta-killed Cannon because I've been uh, ignoring Cannon, which is unfortunate. Um, that's my fault, honestly. Uh, but it is what it is. I think this guy... We're just gonna Nova Rain the chest. And I didn't realize he would one-shot cannon, uh, so we're gonna try to... Oh! <sighs> Goodness gracious. And high heal. Right back to it. I'm going to FP shift so cannon can get back up to um, her stuff faster. 
So the the worst case scenario is he starts doing Megaton every turn. Actually, Megaton's okay as long as he's targeting the right people. Um, but if he does Megaton and then Quake or Quake, Quake, you know, rest. So you can get into very shitty situations really quick. Um, uh, I think actually our play here, what we want to do is we want to shield cannon. Um, and I think... Yeah, he has Odura. So we're gonna, we're gonna shield, uh, Cannon to try to get her, um, defense up so she doesn't get one shot by a Megaton. And we will combine for an Odurok and then attack. And, and you can see now why, like, people just just kill this guy as quick as possible rather than trying to fight through the entire battle um, kill all the little parts yeah. Odoyuk should full heal us live horn Ah, basic attack. Big miss. Very nice. Um, I think we go for another shield on cannon. Again, trying to basically just uh, prevent that from happening again. He didn't kill her by much, but she had no boosts. So I think after two shields, it's pretty unlikely that she, ta she takes that much damage again. So... We should be okay now. Um, I'm significantly more concerned about Tim. Ooh, a big miss. Wow. That's, uh, that's good. I was not paying attention. I have no idea if uh, Nova Rain did good damage or not. But, again, I don't think it matters too terribly much. We're, I think the chest is probably down now. And... With everyone back up and buffed up a bit more, I think we're okay. A thousand damage. We'll see. Megaton attack. Ooh, she just barely survives. But that's all we need, right? We don't need her to survive by a crap ton. We just need her to survive by enough. Right? Um, so, that works. We'll take it. Job done. Now we're phalanxing on Bella Claire uh, itself. I think Bella Claire has like 10k HP or something like that. So, could have about a quarter of that gone now. Uh, so we get a free turn to... Actually, I think Saber is a problem in this one. And we don't want to go below FP costs, so we're not going to do anything else. I think we kind of just... I don't know. We'll try Saber. We'll see how it goes. If it goes horribly, it goes horribly. Seems okay. Good damage. More good damage. Just survive, cannon. That's all we need. Nope. Died. Damn it. Damn it, cannon. Alright, whatever. Tim. Tim, finish this. Right? Oof, indeed. Oof, indeed. This is, uh, I mean, this is why this fight is kind of like, meh, for most people. Yeah, hyoi! 
That's also our fault, though. I think we... I don't know if we have any physical defense boost on cannon. I think we don't, actually. Which is why Bella Claire is doing so much damage to her. Just, like... I think she only has, like, one point, maybe? She definitely needs more. If she has any points in it. But again, Bella Claire should be pretty close to dead. There we go. All good. 10k experience. Best vest. <laughs> oh, best vest. Nice. I'm pretty sure that's for Brad. Ferdinand. Nice. That's a pretty big increase, actually. This vest is best. You are correct. Okay. Saving. On the second block. I was waiting for it. Oh, shit. Uh, we are on the wrong team. Swap out Lilka for Ashley. And we want to do that specifically so that we can accelerate her into multi-blast. And go from there. Oh, you have to find the right one. Or just cheese it. Okay. All right. That was a combination of correctly doing the puzzle and brute forcing the puzzle. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Remind you of Demon Wall? Yeah. Ashley must fight alone. Only for a little bit, though. Well, that's potentially bad. Hey, hey! Uh, we'll accelerator a shot weapon to hopefully get rid of the land lamprey so we don't have to worry about that. As long as we don't miss. 
Bada bump bump bump. Vortex. Haven't seen that from him before. 45 damage. Don't care. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and just like um accelerator shot weapon again. Hey, friends caught up. We're st still no, actually we won't. Mm. Take this opportunity to first aid and hopefully kill him before he does like a thunder. That would be optimal. But is it gonna happen? Yeah. Looks like it did happen. Sweet. Cool. I like it. Also, we got some sor sorcery apples, don't we? Ooh. Whoops. My bad. I was hoping to get away without another one. Un We're surprised. I'm not surprised. You're surprised. Ooh. That absolutely makes me think of, like, Donkey Kong's punch, basically. <laughs> Ugh. All right, uh, accelerator into multi blast on the Visagos, first aid, and then um, screw it. Can and can try to one shot that guy. I don't think she'll be able to, but she can try. Four K HP on Ashley though, fucking kicking ass. Three K on Cannon now, so that's good. And I kind of trying to catch up to Ashley and Brad. She never will, not unless we go to like super high level. But um, but she'll do better than Lilka and Tim. That ended up doing pretty good for us. All right. We be here. Um, I don't think there's anything that we specifically need to worry about. Uh, told him that. Yeah, it's just... It's just fight. Uh, in a moment, I'm going to run and use the bathroom real quick. So, um, Ptolemaea is not nearly as big of a deal as Belaclair is, um, basically because Belaclair is just a worst version of Ptolemaea. Um, Belaclair has the Quake, which is basically equal to Ptolemaea's best uh, move, which is the Dynamite move, uh, which is about a thousand damage to everyone. Uh, Ptolemaea has a, no a single target one that's 1500, which is nowhere near the amount that Belaclair does, right? So Ptolemaea's kind of chump change compared to what we've been through. Um, so, no big deal. And he's definitely, like, he's, he, 
he can be a weird race, right? Like, if he does a bunch of dynamites back to back to back, it can be difficult for Tim to keep up with the heals, right? Um, so, in those types of situations, we can either swap in uh, Lilka to Mystica Berry and help us out there, or, um, and this is the more likely situation, if he's consistently doing dynamites and we can't keep up with him, then we'll probably just... Uh, use Odoruk and heal everyone. So, you can just stand around and do nothing. That's why we got strong and made our way this far. Don't make me laugh. You act so self righteous. What'd you say? How dare you? Yeah, Cannon. Cannon's not. She didn't take uh, criticism well. This guy looks so cool. When keeping the world as it is today. The world's just convenient for those in power. For us, it's just a suffocating place. Again, would be super cool. I promised my men we'd create a free world. Would be super cool if we got more information about Ptolemaea and where his background is, right? It feels like he comes from some oppressed or oppressive kind of like scenario, you know? Ah, uh, the Ant-Man ex- yeah, absolutely, I love it. I think this game is legitimately ripe for a remake. Okay, um, very simple plan. We just attack, we just, we just get up to access, get up to phalanx, spam, um, spam first aid, and then if things get too hairy, we Odiruk, or we swap in Lilka to Mystic a berry. Ptolemy Dynamite. Let's go. So, like I said, right, we're already at 51 um, FP. If he if he starts swapping to Iron Saber and tries to Iron Saber someone down, that'll be a problem. But otherwise, we can just keep... Yeah, yeah but he Iron Sabers Ashley. We don't care about that. That is fine. That is super fine. Um, already at Phalanx. Start spamming it. Next turn, we should have access... Basically just DPS racing, honestly. It doesn't have that much HP, so once we start hitting with things like Phalanx and Hot Fencer, it'll go down real quick. Another Ptolemy Dynamite. This now means that we have enough FP to Odayuk, as well as keeping enough FP to First Aid, should we need to, on the next turn. So... We don't have to yet. We're we're per perfectly safe. First aid, easy peasy. So if he iron sabers someone like Tim, uh, we can or cannon, for example, we can Odoruk to top everyone back off and still be able to continue to first aid. Uh, but if he just dynamites. So this is somewhat of a concern. Um, I think actually we're just going to Odoruk. Uh, because if we... It, we're probably okay, but it's possible that if we first aid, he could hit Tim or Cannon. And then he might be able to do enough damage to kill them with an Iron Saber. So, no reason for us to take the chance.
Oh, it's not a full heal. Fair enough. Pretty close, though. Hot Fencer. Uh, first Aid. Phalanx. One of these days we'll get Eagle Claw. Please, Eagle Claw. Hmm. My goodness, Hot Fencer does some fucking damage. It's just basic attack. I think he did. He did. Nice. Alright, this is probably the last turn. He should not have much left in him. And that is the last of Kokitas. Bye, Ptolemy. Maybe? No spoke too soon? Nah, there we go. He dead. GG. Only one thing that is right is justice on your side. Side of the winner. By the way, the road for me. I can't really stand anymore. Ptolemy, Tol I think, is one of those great, potentially like tragic guys, right? Uh, if they expounded on his backstory, I bet you get into the situation where, you know, like an oppressed man trying to stand up for an oppressed people, roped into the wrong group, believing that, you know, things are going to change. Treat my men with leniency. See? Glad I got to meet you. you really are a hero. Ugh. Oh, that hurts. Something before Vincefeld goes ballistic. The only one I can trust to look after my troops. Ah, poor Ptolemyo. My goodness! And that is the last of the Diablo pillars down. Wasn't really a bad person after all. Nope. Damn. Man. I would love to rewrite this game. <laughs> it's got some meh dialogue here or there. Oh my goodness! Well done, everyone. Cutting off the energy supply from the Diablo Pillars has disabled the stealth function. Heim Delgazo is now naked to the world and showing up on our radar. Heim Delgazo has, become, has come to a stop far south of CLJ. Can't waste this chance. Hurry back to the Valeria Chateau. We're going to try to force Heim Delgazo to land. Okay. Ah, I can't teleport. Look. Book. Where's the nearest beach? That's not a beach. This is a beach. Oh shit. We're actually that's funny, we're right over there by CLJ. Cool. Um Let me go to the town of Marion. Uh where we will rest up. Re reequip. Reequip? Check PS skills, reload. All that jazz. Bum, 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 bum. Personal skills are handy. Um, yep. Up, oh, magic defend. 
Yeah, see, Cannon only has one up physical defense. She definitely needs more of that, so we will hold off. Wait until we get that done. Ugh. Brad needs M defense more than he needs physical defense. But ultimately, everyone should max out P defense, M defense, up parameter, up HP, etc. Cool. Arm upgrade. Yeah, I think um, bullets at that point are more valuable. Okay, sweet. <laughs> Alright, that is going to be the end of this video. We have defeated the four lieutenants of Odessa, uh, the Kokitas squad. Um, we have revealed the... We've De destroyed the Diablo Pillars. We've revealed Heimdall Gazo, the floating fortress, the super weapon. Um, now we got to go deal with it. And when we deal with it, that is going to be the end of disc one. And all hell is going to break loose. <laughs> it's going to be a very, not a very different game, but a little bit of a different game. Um, so, yeah. Did I actually save there? I was not paying attention. We're getting, we're getting into it. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.